Greetings and welcome to today's session. Today I come again with uh, another set of CUBS ICT paper. Basically this paper is for Senior 3. Those who are looking at giving Senior 3's end of year exam that is to standard, here I've started with the practical paper. So for those who have been following my YouTube channel, I continue to thank you very much for following these videos and ensuring that you get best content. So of recent, I I, re, I revised item one for UNEB. So make sure you visit that video lesson and you go through the latest responses. So whenever I talk about the video description, when you are watching the video, you go down, you move down to more after the title, from the title below. Once the video is playing, you go below the title here, where there is more, you click there, you will find a link. When you click on that link, you can now be able to download this very paper and its support files. So the paper is here. I've said those who have uh, finished almost whatever is needed in senior theory. So you are able to give learners this paper. If you have finished all the senior one work or the topics of senior one or the topics of senior two and all the topics of senior three, then your learners should be able to interpret and do this very exam. So here it goes. Item one. In Kampara, a community-focused organization called Uganda Digital Skills Foundation, UDSF, has been dedicated to training Ugandans in ICT, health and safety for the past eight years. Recently, Uganda Digital Skills Foundation was invited by Ubuntu Tech Academy, a growing tech company, to conduct a five-day ICT health and safety training for its team. The training aimed at equipping employees with best practices for a safe digital workspace successfully covered key areas relevant to the tech industry. So here is the scenario. Still, during the program, each of the 10 participants from Ubuntu Tech Academy received a daily allowance of 20,000 Ugandan shillings in recognition of their performance, certificates of excellence were awarded to the three most outstanding trainees. So task, using the support files provided, prepare a report on this training program and send it to the training manager. You are required to, uh, to include all the relevant documentation and summaries of the training outcomes. So here is the scenario what you need to do is at least to pause the video you copy down this scenario if you can't check in the video description and you download this scenario so here you play pause and copy down your scenario so meanwhile those who haven't gotten the these ict books so when you look at elite ict books from book one up to book four these books are available for your grab so get in touch with me and you get these books. They are very resourceful. Then here we have a step-by-step -step designing websites using Expression Web. Get this resourceful book so that designing websites using Expression Web is made easy. More to that, for those who love WordPress, here is also a practical approach on designing websites using WordPress. Grab a copy, grab copies, personal publications. I avail them both in hard copies and soft copies. So WordPress. And now of recent, this is the book that whoever is watching this video needs. You need it, you as a teacher, you need it for your students. Your students should grab copies of this very book in order to excel in ICT. It is called ICT Mastery for Uganda's Competency-Based Curriculum. 
S1 to S4 guide to theory and practical success. Grab this book, or will be well. So let's now look at item two. When you look at item two, it goes in Fort Potro, a local organization called Green Uganda Initiative. That is GUI is dedicated to improving information access and sharing among residents on the community development topics. As part of the of its mission, GUI has planned an information access and sharing campaign aimed at educating the public on using digital tools to access local sources, government uh, services, and educational materials. This campaign will include workshops, information sessions, and one-on-one -on -one guidance over a two-week period. The campaign organizers want to reach as many people as possible in the community through printed and digital materials shared via email and social media platforms like X and WhatsApp. Task. Using the support files provided, create an offline campaign publication for Green Uganda Initiative. So this is our item two. And please, you will find these support files. You will find the support files in the video description. So when you look at the support files for item one, this is what is inside. There are images, there is an Excel template, there is also a Word document. So when you look at the Word document, this is how it looks like. And then when we look at the Excel template, it has some information. Then from there, we are looking at uh, now item two. Item two, I can see basically most of them are images. So that they can be used in creating an offline campaign publication. So these are the two numbers that you can give your seniorly learners to do in end of year as they are practical using the CUBS assessment resource. So please continue visiting this YouTube channel for more of the updates. Coming next will be the guide how best you would have approached item one and item two. So keep checking for the next video. And also paper one is also coming for senior two and also senior one. All of them will be posted on this very YouTube channel. Yours is to like, subscribe, and keep sharing to the fellows. Jabres.